everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add documents to your website and allow your users to download them. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first method that I wanna show you is, let's just say you have one document that you just want to allow your users to download on one of your pages. All you'll have to do is just come over to add. Let's just drag out one of these buttons right here. And let's just type in download, just like that. And now we just need to link the button. So we'll press link. And you'll notice over here on the left, there's a bunch of different items for us to choose from. And we want to choose the document option right here. And now it will allow us to choose a file. Now it's gonna open up our media library. And the cool thing about this is with this document, you can choose PDFs, you can choose images, you can choose a bunch of different types of files to allow your users to download. I will include a link in the description to show you all the different supported file types that you can use. But for today's video, we're gonna be using our updated version of the SEO checklist. And we'll press add to page, just like that. And if you guys want your own SEO checklist, feel free to go to the Wix Fix website, which is always linked in the description and go to the page for the freebies. And then just fill in your email and you'll get a download link right in your inbox. So now if we go ahead and press preview and we wanted to download this SEO checklist, you're gonna see when we press download, it's gonna open up a brand new tab with the SEO checklist PDF that we have, and your users will be able to print or download right from this tab. Now, the second method I wanna show is maybe you have a database, and maybe on your dynamic pages, you wanna include a link to download a specific PDF or file for each individual item. So what you can do is come over to add. We're just gonna call this one document and we'll set the field type to document as well, just like that. And then over here, we'll just wanna add the document. Again, we can choose all the different types of files, but for now, we'll just do the PDF. And you'll notice on Wix CMS, we're gonna have the SEO checklist. And again, this is just an example. And maybe for Editor X Velo, we want a different PDF. So let me just go ahead and upload a new one. Add the branding worksheet, just like that. And what we're gonna wanna do is come over to our pages, go to dynamic pages, and we want to go to our items title page. And let's just go ahead and drag this down quite a bit. And let's just go ahead and add a button here. So let's just go ahead and drag this one right here. And we'll change the text to say download, just like before. But now let's go ahead and connect this one to data. We want the click action to be our document file, just like that. So now if we go over to our Wix CMS and press preview, we should get our SEO checklist. So I'm gonna go ahead and press download and you'll see our SEO checklist. And then if I go over to the other one, Editor X Fellow, and I press download here, we should get our branding worksheet. And this has been two different methods for how you can add downloadable files to your Wix websites. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.